Ada for breaking up my engagement because my fiancé wanted to invite my family to our wedding. Sorry for the throwaway, just need to get this out. And the fact that only two people know about my past, excluding my family. I'm not good with emotions due to my past, so everyone saying I'm an asshole is making me question myself. Me, 28M, and my fiancé, 28F, have been together for four years and engaged for a year. Our wedding is supposed to have been early next year. Long story short, she wanted to invite my abusive family to our wedding. She knows all that has happened to me but still thinks it was a good idea for them to be invited and maybe reconnect. I don't want those people near me at all. I don't want them to be within a 100 miles of me. I'm not going to describe everything that has happened to me but here is a short version. I was beaten as a child, starved, chained in the basement for weeks because I forgot to do the dishes. My parents bought sexual assault at me. It's hard to write out, but my first ever sexual experience was with my own mother that forced herself on me when I was 13, then my father started when I was 15. This was a recurring thing, sometimes with bot of them, while the other held me down. Police was less than helpful and I fucking can't stand them as they never believed me. Making me out to be a troubled child and taking my parents on their word no matter how many brushes, black eyes, broken noses, broken bones I had. The same with every single person I asked for help. I was just seen as the troubled child that wanted attention. I ran away as 17 when I was left alone one night, and they forgot to lock me in. I haven't seen them since. I took me years of therapy to get over what happened and I am finally at a place where I don't feel this overwhelming anger to kill my parents whenever I think about them. My fiancé knows all of this. I told her about a year into our relationship with the help of my therapist. It came out a week ago that she has been talking to my parents since we got engaged and she want me to forgive them as they are changed people, I don't care if they are. It started a fight until she told me that everything I have been through wasn't that bad and am being a child about it. I could see in her facial expression the moment she said those words she regretted it, but I didn't care. I told her we are done and left the house. I haven't answered any calls from any person that has tried to call me, and I'm holed up in a hotel for the moment, and I don't want to go home. All the anger I had worked so hard to put behind me is back. But with all the text I have been receiving from friends to her family, calling horrible things for what I'm putting my fiancé through, and that I don't care or love her if I can make her worry like this, I'm starting to lose my mind. I have even gotten text calling me a coward for not just sucking up my feeling for one day to make her happy. I don't know anymore, as I can trust myself and what I think or feel. I'm losing it. I need a different perspective. Should I just give in? Ada. Edit to clarify. She hasn't invited them yet, but wants to invite them. That is when I said, hell no, I don't want them near me. After I said that, that is when she said she has been talking to them since we have been engaged and what I went through wasn't that bad. I must be exaggerating and I need to stop being a child. Any person who sat with you in your therapist's office, heard about the extreme abuse you suffered and thought that contacting the perpetrators was a reasonable thing to do is not worth your time. You need to ask yourself why she needed to hear their side. When your testimony of what they did to you should have been more than enough for her to never want to see or speak to these people. They say that people who are abused as children often find partners who are abusive as adults. It seems like that is what has happened to you. You found another person who abuses you. It's not your fault. Your perception of what a normal, loving relationship is, is skewed by your past abuse. You shouldn't entertain these texts and voicemails telling you you are wrong or childish or exaggerating. You know what you lived through, what you've overcome, and you can block and delete every single message from every person saying differently. If you're worried about wellness checks from the police, you can call the non-emergency line, maybe with help from your therapist to report yourself as being safe and well, but you don't want contact from people professing to be worried about you. I'm very sorry you have been betrayed. You have been through so much already. It's not fair that you now have to overcome further betrayal. But you can put this bitch and her awful circle of people behind you too. You can move on and thrive. Best of luck to you. Update here if it helps. You'll find support I'm sure. And the odd troll no doubt. Yeah. I'm sorry your fiancé is straight up trash juice for even entertaining these abusive animals. Your partner should have been more supportive and mindful during this time. You've been through some traumatic events in your life. And for her to fix her mouth to say, it isn't that bad. It's not that bad. WTF? Not cut your fiancé off as well. My heart goes out to you. 
and I hope you finally find peace on your journey of healing. My second cousin was essayed by her mom's BF at 10. Court, prison, we grow up and she has some issues with anxiety, etc. At a family function, one of my more judgmental relatives commented that she just needed to grow up and get over it because it wasn't that bad. So I told him, no, not that bad. Why don't you hand your son, eight, over to your GF and let her have fun with him for a year or so. Maybe you can even tape it for her that will be fun. Would you like me to call him over so you could tell him that? Could have heard a pin drop. They left and good riddance to bad rubbish. NTA never speak to this woman again. She knew everything you went through and still spoke to them. That alone would be a deal breaker for me never mind taking it further in one. Wanting them at the wedding in two. Telling you IT wasn't that bad. I feel nauseous even writing that. This woman is a monster. Run. Block her, her family, and anyone defending her. Protect your mental health and sense of safety. I am so sorry for what you went through as a child and for the fact that a woman you opened up to and thought you could trust betrayed you on such a primal level. She's disgusting. Reading OP's post made me gag. Humans can be so fucked up, dear God.